morning, floodwaters have not receded everywhere. As a matter of fact, on Friday overnight, they were still making rescues. And when the sun comes up, they'll likely do it all over again. And water isn't the only problem. Late Friday, plumes of black smoke rose over the Arkema chemical plant outside Houston. At least four explosions, with more likely to come. The remaining six trailers are in a more uh, remote location of the, of the plant, so we fully expect the same thing to happen with those containers. Thousands of evacuees told to stay away. The smoke could be toxic, the air dangerous. Meanwhile, in East Texas, a flood of misery. The desperation is growing. In cities like Beaumont, many are waiting to safety, running out of time to find dry ground. There's water all the way up to my roof now. My whole neighborhood is flooded out. In a city that was surrounded by water, there's no safe drinking water. Thousands in line for hours, waiting for basic necessities. Got some water, got a few supplies. How desperate is the situation for so many people? Yes, because I'm a diabetic. I take insulin four times a day, and I got to have water. Where the water is receding, the lasting destruction is revealed. 100,000 homes damaged across the region. The flood here may be gone, but the mud and debris is everywhere. I just feel like, you know, we've had this wonderful neighborhood. It's just like, how are we all going to... How are we all going to rebuild? President Trump is expected in Houston later today. This is what he'll see. A cleanup that will take months, costing in the billions, and an impact deeper than the murky waters so many have seen. There are a lot of things that are that are in that water. And so as people are, are now uh, coming back home, and if they've been exposed to those waters, what we're asking them to do is to, to really uh, wash up. At the Islamic Center in Houston, during a holy holiday, a helping hand for neighbors, communities coming together when so many need so much. With clear skies in the forecast, the water will slowly recede, but it could take days, if not weeks, for some to return home. In a sign of normalcy, though, the Astros will play their first game at home since the storm in Houston later today. Kristen, back to you. All right, Miguel, I'll take it. Thank you so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.